everybody, I'm James Cebulski. This road trip has turned into a borderline nightmare, but they'll try to close it out with a win tonight. Setters both set to dig on in, and we are about ready to go. The Sabres take possession to get this one underway. Buffalo's on the attack. Minnesota's got the puck. Great use of the body to knock him off the puck. Oh, he caught him! Oh, and that's a thunderous hit along the boards. It's bone crushing, James. You feel that one right from your toes all the way up to your shoulders. Talk about finishing a check. The Wild have taken possession along the wall. Along the side, here they come through the neutral zone. Puck leaves the offensive end. They'll be forced to do it again. From the defensive zone, they move the puck around. Moves it over to Champion. Reaches out and uses the stick. Minnesota's gained possession along the boards. Here's a pass to the middle. It's James, it looks like it's redirected, and that's just beautiful timing and get hands away from the body, be able to get it to go the opposite direction of the goaltender. The Wild have the early 1-0 lead, but I'm surprised it's not more. Yeah, it could be with the way they're playing. They've been all over their opponent, and it's confidence. When you score that first goal, you know that it's going to transcend through the bench. Everyone wants to contribute, so they've been on fire tonight. I'm excited to see the rest of this game. Just a little too much contact and couldn't hang on to the puck. There's the whistle. We've got an offside. Lots of time left in this period. 1-0 is where we sit at this point. Minnesota's won the draw, and they take possession here in the open ice. Bufflin's got the puck now here inside his own defensive zone. Passes it in front, and he shuts down a great scoring chance there. Hasek's been solid early in this game, and that's a nice save right there. And it's an important one as well for his confidence, as we know what happened last game. He got blown out. Quick pass to Quinn. The Wild have taken over in the neutral zone. Big time hit against the wall there. Wow, that was a tough one, man. That was thunderous, and it even broke a pane of glass. There's going to be a stoppage in play here. Minnesota's won the faceoff at center. Takes the feed. Scores! We'll talk about a friendly pick right there. Oh, yeah, it's all about the bounces, isn't it, James? And you gotta get the right one, and that one is in his favor. Well, your coach is preaching all the time. Take away the eyes of the goaltender. What does that mean? It means you get yourself in front of that net, whether it's a double stack, a double screen, whatever you can do so that the goaltender can't find the puck. And he couldn't as he drops to that butterfly. He tries to make himself as big as possible, but he can't catch up to the puck. Nearing the midway mark of the period, Minnesota's got a two-goal lead. They'd love to build on it. Stalls won the draw at center. Oh, catches him in the open ice. The cliche in hockey is you want to start the game hard and physical and really set the tone, and that's what he was doing right there. Oh, a spectacular save right there. Wow. Unbelievable. I mean, it was all but in, and he steals it because of that last-ditch attempt to find the puck. Just incredible save, James. Buffalo's moving it along the wing. The Wild have gained control of the puck along the wall. Centering pass, and that's intercepted. Hasek's been so impressive, in particular in that last sequence, James, and he's out of gas. It didn't prevent him from making that save, but now he's going to get some much-needed rest as that puck heads out of his zone. And lowers the boom of the big-time hit. Now oh, this is a message-sending hit, isn't it? When you get all of your opponent and you're able to separate the body from puck, you know you've done your job. Message delivered. Nice dish from the left wing. 
Minnesota's high activity in the offensive zone has resulted in them leading here midway through the first. Michaels won it in their own end. And now he moves it quickly to Johns. Carries it into the offensive end up the middle. Moves it to Gostaspare. Takes that pass back at the point. Gives him a choke with that hit. And he makes the save with ease. Blocked in front. And he lowers the boom there. Traffic and goes off a stick. Here's a short pass to Samuelson. Fires it into the offensive zone. Slides it quickly to Kane. Looking to set up offensively. Takes a shot. Gets a piece of it to keep it out. The Sabres will play it from the defensive zone. What a hit on the play. Oh, my. Yeah, you clearly knew what he was doing here. He got off. Him, tags him, knowing full well that he's going to disengage that puck. <laughs> All alone! He scores! Oh, wow, what a finish! Well, I love that he used his speed and didn't slow down, James. And it's all about patience and composure, outlining the goaltender, finding the room and burying it. If you don't have the puck, you can't create. So the first order of business is you have to go get it. And he is just known for his tenacity on the puck here, James. And that would lead to the eventual goal. Minnesota's been the better team here in this first period, and as a result, they've got a big lead. And after the draw at center, they've got a hold of the puck. Moves the puck across to Tuck. The Wild have it in their own zone. They fight for it along the boards. Scooped up along the wall by Silverberg. And some good footwork to kick it away. Slick feed. Scores! Oh, wow! My goodness, what a finish. When that puck's on his tip, James, you know that he's a magician and he can deke his way to the net like he does just there. Well, we all know that he's got great hands, James. The way the puck moves on his stick, it's like on a string, but it's also his awareness, the way he scans and how he knows how to manipulate and create space for himself. That's how he gets himself to the net, and then he finishes it off by beating the goaltender. The Sabres are on the board, but there's still a long way to go to get back into this one. Yeah, that's not the way the coach would have drawn up that start. No urgency and just flat, but hey, they get back in it. Only within two now, a lot of game left. Misses the net. The Sabres have it against the wall. Back to the point it goes. What a stop! Scrum ensues along the boards. And that's stolen by Commonville. Oh, and he just got enough of that one to keep it out. My goodness, this has been a pressure felt shift here. Oh, what a hit there. And they'll end all that pressure as they clear the zone. Dumps it in. Unable to reach that one. Picked up along the boards by Granlin. Long reach breaks up the momentum. Quick feed to Granlin. Oh, he got a little sliver of it, and it stays out. Thompson's good at stick handling around defenders, and that's his puck on the string zone ability. It's what makes him so dangerous. Stahl's all-alone zone ability means he rarely misses when he gets in on a breakaway or when he's rewarded with a penalty shot. One of these players is going to help give their team the upper hand tonight. Guys, back to you. And he takes the feed. Niskanen's crossed the line and is on the attack now. Grabbed along the board by Burns. Moved up ahead here in the neutral zone. Oh, what a save in front. A player should never be left alone in this slot, but man, is the goaltender in task here. Gets out in front of it and makes the save. Goss Despair's learned how to surprise incoming checkers
Rogers with a reverse hit, guys. This could really help limit the front of big body checks, and that's his back at his own ability. Fires it on net, and the lane's clogged up blocking that. Moves it quickly over to Oposo. Sends it deep inside the offensive zone. And the puck's kick free. Koivu's taking it from his own end. Good heads up defensive play as he extends the stick. Skates to the crease. Picked up along the wall by Oposo. Poked away. And he takes a shot. Takes a hit, he goes down to the ice and coughs up the puck. Oh, and he completely muffs the shot. Crunches him under the boards. Can't keep a hold of it. Minnesota's got it along the wall. There's a shot, and he makes the easy save. There's the end of period number one. Both teams will grab a quick breather. You can grab a hot dog, and we'll be back with second period action in moments. are back at center ice and we are ready to get period number two underway. The second stanza is underway as the puck is dropped. Let's go. Now, Cheryl, how do you sum this one up for the first 20 minutes? Hashik's performance was outstanding in the first 20 minutes. I mean, he got shelled. He's got to be exhausted, James. His team needs to pick it up in front of him if they want to stay in this game. Minnesota's got the lead here early in this second period. Their offense has been clicking at all cylinders thus far. Buffalo's won the draw. Off his stick! Big time stop! Dubnik's gonna hang on for a whistle and staying focused is key when you haven't seen a lot of work here, Cheryl. Well, it's part of their mental preparation as a goaltender. Even when you're not busy, you have to stay dialed in, follow the action. He's doing exactly that and he makes a nice cover. Off the face off, they take the puck. Scrum along the boards. Thompson's taking the puck behind the net. Drops him with the glove. There's the whistle. We'll get a face-off after the goalie covers up. Lots of hockey left to be played in this period. Been a pretty good offensive display, at least for one side. 3-1 is where we sit. Michaels won the draw here in their own zone. And somehow he hangs on. is frozen, and we get a stoppage in play. Centers are set, face off, ready to resume play. Comes in off the wing as both centers were tied up on the draw. He's only one goal away, James, of his next milestone right here. The Sabres are across the line and into the offensive end. The glove to knock it away. Hooked away at center by Cousins. Nice zone entry from the left. And that's intercepted by Olofsson. Cuts into the paint. Let's see what the officials are calling. The Wild have to kill off the next two minutes as they have been handed a charging penalty. power play is ranked toward the bottom of the league, but with their first power play of the game, this is a chance for them to turn things around. They've been working hard. They might be able to capitalize on some good things here and get the momentum swinging in their direction. The Wild have the puck shorthanded. Gets it out of his own end. Quick pass to Hove. Middlestat's got the puck in his own zone. Paterka's got it along the wing. Huge steal in his own end. And they get the puck out of the defensive end. Feeds the puck over to Paterka. Shot! Big save in front. He reads this play perfectly, James. He gets tight to the shooter. There's no room to put it by him. Hope everyone's enjoying the game here tonight. Another big face-off here on this power play.
Rollins won the faceoff. Puck cleared from the defensive end. Olafson's got it across the line. Moves it to Thompson. Oh, and somehow he gets a sliver of it and keeps it at bay. Collins gliding in for the face-off as this penalty kill will continue. And with the centers tied up, he swoops in to take possession. Quick pass over to Tuck. Denies him on the one-timer. Oh, what reaction. Here's the clearing attempt. And he's able to move the puck across the blue line and out of harm's way. Oh, a clutch save. Hasek's been outstanding, tracking pucks and making huge saves like that one right there, right from the slot. Tuck's got it in the offensive end. Great defensive effort with the stick. And he slides it quickly to Campbell. Good fight for the puck along the boards. Grabs the puck and moves on out here with this man advantage. Takes the pass. Across the line from center. Here's the pass in front. Picked off in front. And the puck is cleared to a safer spot. Time ticking away here on this man advantage. Keeping it simple and creating some speed, but they have to gain entry fast. Hoibu standing up, ready to go. Trying to get the puck out of his own end. Here's a short pass to Thompson. Time's up on the power play. Both teams back to even strength. Well, everyone is up. The coach knows exactly what the PK unit had to do, and they got out there, they were responsible, and they took care of business. Solid check to slow him down. Let's it fly! And that shot gets caught in traffic. Can't keep a hold of it. Slides the puck ahead to hold. Gets the puck in deep. The Wild have the puck against the boards. Look at this down the right wing. They're on the attack. Moves the puck. Taken along the wall by Middlestick. Rocked him in the open ice. Fires it! Great save on the one-timer! Solid hit on the play! Takes a shot! Big time stop! Gets a blocker on it! Dubnik's been excellent tonight, but he's faced a ton of shots. Lucky he's dialed in and been making the saves because their run-and-gun style could catch up with them. They've got a healthy lead. They don't want to blow it. Still a lot of time left in the period as we approach the midway mark. 3-1 is where we're sitting. Fans being treated to a lot of offense thus far. Minnesota's got the win off that draw. Passes it to Kane. Uses the force on that hit. Scrum along the boards as they battle for the puck. And that battle along the wall comes to an end. Great pass from off the right side. Oh, he'll feel that one. The Sabres take possession in the defensive end. Good stand-up hit on the play. And that's intercepted. Here's an odd man rush. Sends the feet in front. Off the pipe. With authority. Now a quick pass to Clifton. Oh, he rocked him. Power forwards can be so difficult to contain. Why? Because you can hear them coming, James. They have the ability to deliver bone-crushing hits. They've got a two-on-one. Turka. Poked away in the neutral zone. Here in the corner, he grabs the puck. How did he stop that one? We'll get a face off after the puck stays covered up. Minnesota's been rewarded for their high activity in the offensive zone with lots of shots, and they lead it here in the second. Puck is dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. And now he moves it to Johns. Boom! Wow, what a thunderous hit there. Wow, well, that was incredible. Everyone is on their feet. Man, did he get nailed. Along the right wing, they enter the attacking area. Huge play in his own end to come up with the puck. 
As an athlete, you always want to try and contribute and get things going for your team, and especially when you're trailing, you want to ignite a spark. Unfortunately, though, they, he died it a little too much there, and it gets taken away. Here's a shot, and he catches that one with the glove. Well past the midway mark of this period, Minnesota's got a 3-1 lead as they have dominated for the most part in this. The frozen biscuits dropped and we are back underway here. Moves the puck along the half wall and he's knocked off the puck there. Puck grabbed by Silverberg. Moves it quickly over to Krebs. With possession along the wall. Buffalo's got the puck along the boards. Into the offensive zone down the right wing. Batted down out of midair. Takes the feed from the left side. That one misses and will play on. Well, he spent so much time trying to create scoring chances, and when you do, you gotta find the back of the net. At the very least, hit it, James. Denied that one. They are really dialed in here tonight. And there's a collision. Quick shot, and he gets a piece of that one and denies it. Dubnik's made a great save, and even better is the redirect to the corner. There's a collision with some authority. Here in the later stages of this period, it's a 3-1 hockey game. Lots of offense already. And they win the draw on their own end. And Ross moving the puck through his own zone. That's a solid hit. The one-time rocket. Oh, what a save on the one-timer. Here he is, wrists it on that. Does it again with the stop. What a sequence. I mean, he has been outstanding making consecutive saves. I mean, his defense, they got to start playing. Minnesota's coaching staff must be impressed with what they're seeing from their players tonight. Lots of pucks on net, and they continue to lead late in the second. The Sabres win the draw here in their own end. Right through center and into the offensive zone. Drives to the sweet spot. And that ricochets off a twig in front. Turned aside with the glove by Dubnik. Puck is frozen and we'll get a face off. Centers glide into the dot as a face off ready to resume play. The Sabres take possession off the face off. Here's Big save right at the end. And there's the horn. Two down, one more to go. Both teams will get a chance to uh, catch their breath and get ready for a big third period next. Opening face off for period number three is ready to go. Well, the moment of truth for both teams here as we are underway in the third. Cheryl, 40 minutes in the books now playing. How do you view this one? Buffalo's going to have to outwork the goaltender here, James. I really like their play in the offensive zone. They've driven the paint. They found ways to get the puck to net. They just haven't solved the riddle of the goaltender. They're going to have to get some net front presence and take away the eyes if they want to put it in. Puck scooped up by Skinner. Battling for it along the boards. Back to the blue line. Way too much congestion blocks that. Slides the puck into the offensive zone. Chance in front. Off a stick and they can't complete the play. Takes a shot. Oh, what a glove save there. Pasek's compete level is what makes him so exciting to watch, guys. His contortionist zone ability is when he uses those last-ditch, all-out desperation saves to get in front of the puck. Oh, what a save with the glove. Minnesota's turned good defense into good offense as they lead it early in this third period. And they'll start with possession. Takes the feed. Pass back to the point. They got a whistle. Penalty coming up. 
Olafson's actions pretty evident in the eyes of the officials here for tripping. Minnesota's man advantage unit will take to the ice for the first time tonight. First power play opportunity for this team. It's going to start in the face-off circle, getting possession with the win, and they're looking to set up. Scandella is doing his job on the power play, driving right to the paint, creating the screen. Takes the puck as the clock ticks down on the penalty kill. Some smart heads up defensive play by Paterka. Puck is scooped up here inside the offensive zone by Dali. Here we go, two on one. Out of front. Oh, it stayed out. Oh my goodness, what a stop. Denies him again. on goalies with his one-time blast, guys. That's his one t zone ability, and his squad knows if he can get open, they've got a good chance to score. Nice job tying up his opponent. And that carries off a body in the lane. Grabs the puck here in their own end. And that's a solid clearing attempt on the play. He's got a step. Oh, it just kind of muffles that one. Well, he muffles it because he's in tight, and when you're in tight, you run out of room, and you run out of option as well. You gotta find a way to get the puck to the net. Couldn't catch up to that pass. Broken up with a stick. The Sabres gain the zone. Oh, he gets hit again. Well, this is a tough enough game as it is, but if you have your head down, you are gonna get lambasted over and over again. What a steal in his own end. Puck clears the zone. Trying to get something going here with this man advantage as they start from their own end. Driving right to the front. Turns it aside with the glove. And the puck stopper hangs on to get a breather here for the team. Stalls looking to win this draw and this man advantage here. Minnesota's won the draw inside the offensive zone. Now let's see what they can do with it. Scrum along the wall. Quick pass to Stahl. He got all of that one. Olsen's penalty is almost expired. Hopes recognizing they're still shorthanded here as they get ready for the faceoff. Buffalo's gonna start with the puck inside the offensive zone. The Wild have possession along the boards. Buffalo's man is out of the box and we're back to even strength. Already down in the game and your back's against the wall. This is a massive kill. You want to keep the game within reach. Oh, off the inside of the post. Minnesota's run another one off the post, James. How many is that now? But listen, they're getting opportunities and they're really firing it towards and that. I really like their game tonight. Oh, look at this. They are really starting to apply the pressure now. Carries it. Oh, what a save right there. There's a hit. Big time collision there. Oh, thunderous collision there. And I think they're going to go. There's the whistle. showing respect for each of their players that are heading over to the penalty box. That was a tough one. It's purely exhausting to be in a fight like this, and they're just corralling their stuff and getting back to the box. Well, it looks like the officials have got all the debris off the ice, and we're back to getting some hockey going again. Buffalo's won the faceoff deep in their own end. 
keeps a hold of it on the play. Good hit to pump him off the puck. Moves it to Johns. Minnesota's got the puck against the wall. Oh, he saved him! Oh my goodness, what a stop! Oh, that's unbelievable, James. I have no idea how he got to that puck. It's some gymnastics at its finest. Great poke check on the reach. Oh, he just got thunderstruck! Well, he did. I mean, closing so quickly. No time and space there and just crushes him. What a hit. Oh, gets a little piece of it and keeps it out of the net. Sends it into the offensive zone. There's a firm collision. And he slides it quickly to Johns. Oh, wow! Devastating hit there. Oh, painful, James. I felt that one in the broadcast booth. Knocks the puck down with a stick. Scooped up along the wall by Niskanen. Can't hang on to the puck after taking a knock. Koivu's got it in the defensive end. Takes the feed at the point. Buffalo's got a hold of it against the wall. Oh, complete explosion on that physical hit. Body contact. Pokes it away in his own end. Long pass up ahead to center. Fast and quick lead pass. Cover it, cover it. Minnesota's been the better team tonight. They have turned good defense into solid offense, and they lead here in the third. Cullen's got it. Now they'll look to see what they can do with it offensively. Handles the pass. Directed over to Olsson. Break away. Oh, to eyes on the play. Uh, and this is a great play by the tender to anticipate and get across to make that save. Dishes it to Cousins. Gains the zone on the left wing. Drives to the paint. Left side save. Minnesota's got it in their own zone. Great pass from the left wing up the middle now. Oh, what a save on the play. Oh, that's such an athletic save, James. I mean, that's just all about complete and finding a way to get to the puck. Let's have a look at that last save again. It was absolutely incredible. You're under pressure, you're under attack, really under siege, and you find a way to get to the puck. This is the stuff that champions are made of. Dalene's not gonna be able to return to the game, James. I mean, that injury that he suffered earlier is gonna keep him out. This is a tough loss for their team. No, and you clearly kind of know where you stand from a coaching standpoint now, but that is a serious blow to the lineup here for the rest of the game. And a strong effort on that play. Trying to leave everything out there on the ice tonight. I don't think anybody was hanging on to the puck after that hit. That's a solid check on the plane. Champions got it against the boards. The Sabres gain control of the puck. Through center along the wing. Minnesota's looking to break out of their own end. Centering pass in front. And that's intercepted. Feeds it over to Power. Gaining momentum up along the side. Levels him into the wall. The Sabres gain possession. Krebs explores his options behind the net. Quick pass to Champion. Minnesota's got it across the line. That knocks it off the puck. Oposo stick handling in his own zone. Gets the puck in deep. Minnesota's got possession of the puck. Looking dangerous as they move along the boards. Silverberg's got it in the offensive zone. Too much congestion blocks the shot. Here's the shot. Oh, what a close save. Wow. Edmonton's up next as this homestand will continue. A team that when they're playing well, they are a tough out with the offense they can provide. We will see them. Under a minute to go here in regulation time. Love save, and he handles it with ease. Here's a short pass to Olsson. Fires it on net. Denies him. Goaltender has made his...
his way to the bench. The extra attackers out. They need a goal here big time. Sends the pass over. Puts it on net. Stops him with the glove. And we get a whistle as the goaltender decides to hang on to this one. A critical face-off looms here. And the extra attacker is on the ice, James. So much pressure on the center to win this draw. They win the face-off here in their own end and take possession. Chance at an empty netter here. Misses. And the crowd's on their feet, saluting the team after a hard-fought effort this evening. Oh, what a smart heads-up play. Fires to the empty net. And this one is all over as the final horn sounds. to win these types of games, but when you're losing, the streak continues here, Pounder. Yeah, it really does. And for the coaching staff, they're going to go into the room and they're going to try and draw some positives from it. And I'm telling you, the team doesn't want it here because at the end of the day, it's still a loss. Hope everyone had as much fun as we did here tonight. For all of us at EA Sports, I'm James Sabalski saying peace.